Hey guys, and welcome back to the God of War 2 playthrough. It's a brand new day and a brand new recording session for all of us here at Hellfire HQ. Richie, how are you doing today? What have you been playing recently, mate? Uh, recently just finished Fire Emblem Fates Birthright, which was actually really, really, really good. Um, still got Conquest and Revelation yet to play, because I got the special edition with all three in one, because I am a massive geek. But then again, it was 70 quid for three 20 to 30 odd hour games, and I think that's an absolute bargain in my opinion. What about you, TH2? Um, recently I beat Doom. A uh, great game. Ending sucks, by the way. Um, I've also been playing a lot of Overwatch on PS4. I've been having a lot of fun with that, although they do need to add more shit, and I am a tool for buying it at the full 60. <laughs> um, uh, I need to get, like, a, a, a powered, like, a, you know, AC adapter powered splitter. HDMI splitter. Yeah, yeah. So I can have my PS4 and my PS3 on, you know, the same split at the same time, because I want to go back to a beat Darksiders 2 and kind of you know, start chasing down the other PS3 games I gotta clear out. But other than that, you know, I've been having a lot of fun with these games. Nice, nice. As for yours truly, moi, I've been playing a lot of Hyrule Warriors Legends, as those of you who follow me on Twitter should know. I basically talk about the game every single day. It's really addicting. Uh, I've beaten all the adventure mode maps in that. I'm just waiting for the Link's Awakening content to come out now, which should be hype. Uh, Marin is going to be a playable character. Um, besides that... Uh, as of this recording, June 2nd, uh, Donkey Kong Country 3 came out on the new 3DS Virtual Console. It was on sale, it was a fiver, I had £6 left in my virtual bank, as it were, so I thought, fuck it, I'll get that, it's my favourite of the Donkey Kong Country games, booyah baby. I wish I could get that on my 3DS, but I wasn't cool enough to upgrade, being a nerd who doesn't like to spend all of his money on fucking consoles. Well, you're a skin flint, that's what you are. I don't make enough money, I work fucking retail, are you surprised? I do fucking YouTube Let's Plays and I don't even get any of the money, so fuck you, that, buddy. That, that's good, that's a good point, I have to say, actually. <laughs> yeah, I shut you up, did it? <laughs> 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 Alright, Helldragon, as recompense for your slight against the gods, tell us who this character on screen here is. Uh, this guy uh, has a cardboard cutout army, by the way, judging by the uh, cutscene. Um, he's the Barbarian King. Uh, Kratos couldn't beat him without getting Ares to help uh, tag team him. And as it turns <laughs> out, when you die uh, in Greek myth, you don't just die normally. No, no, no. You get fucking amazing superpowers that have to relate to what you used to do in real life, and you're like a fucking mega zombie. Like, this guy has like 14, 15 different superpowers he'll display all in this one fight, and it's kind of nuts. So, I'm thinking like, if you're an important enough character and you die in the God of War universe, no matter what you did, you can have some sort of superpower when you come back as a zombie. Like, you could be like the Abacus Man at, that, at like the Roman Bank. And you die, but if you're important enough, you get like math superpowers or something like that. You could throw like, did they have multiplication signs back then? I don't think they did. I don't know. My history with math is obviously not very good here. Well, if I remember correctly, there was an episode of the Hercules uh, cartoon series where they dealt with abacuses and whatnot. Okay, yes, because that show is so reliable in its historic accuracy. <laughs> <laughs> well, just the Disney Hercules franchise in general, really. Now. Just before we get into the nitty gritty of this episode, I should probably point out a little something, a little bit of a warning. My controller has been on the fritz lately, so if you see me randomly switch from uh, like uh, Kronos' Rage to Typhon's Bane, that's the controller doing it, not me, and I swear to god this is true. Well, I, I think me and Helldragon can pretty much sort of vouch for that, because we, we, we've been sat here for forever. Too long. <laughs> Too long. <laughs> Two, two sessions as well because of other recording issues. It's just like, oh my god. Retakes came back with a vengeance. Oh man, this horse just needs to die already. You know what, I think this is actually the Barbarian King's stand. I wouldn't know about that. I mean, it looks more like a Ghost Rider horse kind of me. I mean, I love stands. Well, we can't cram them into everything, except we can, and I'm definitely going to try. Oh, yeah. But at the same time, it's just more of a zombie fire horse, which you see a lot, admittedly. Now, here comes another one of his fucking superpowers. He has so many of them. Why doesn't Kratos get a power? Why don't Kratos get a lick? Hey, Kratos gets a ton of superpowers in the God of War series. He gets, like, three different fucking chain blades, all of this magic... All of these other artifacts and crazy shit he can do by when the third game rolls around, it's nuts! Oh, there we go. I was wondering if I could decapitate his minions. Oh, shockwaves. I don't like shockwaves. 
I don't think anybody does. It's the same with ranged enemies as well, because, you know, you get your darlies, uh, you get your darlies, uh, you get no. your darlies. Ah! I like No More Heroes 2, but that game just went a bit too crazy in the end game with the amount of enemies. Uh -huh. It wasn't like the final boss of that game absolutely, like, trash. That's what I heard. It was yes, hard. It was. I don't know if you could call it trash, per se. Well, I mean, like, it, it was it was an interesting fight. It's just that it was very long, and it had a really, really bullshit one-hit kill move that it was very, very, very difficult to dodge. Ah, I see. It wasn't like Henry in the first game, where you could tell it was coming, because you he did a audio... Thing and you saw him go into a particular stance. Um, with the No More Heroes 2 final boss, the camera's a mess because you're in a very enclosed space. He's, like, gigantic. And the camera's just spinning around trying to figure out what the hell to focus on. If you're anywhere near a window and he charges at you, you are dead. And then you need to do need to redo the entire freaking fight. Yeah, that sounds pretty bad. Good thing we're not covering that game, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, you say that, I, I, I am thinking of recording it at some point in the nearest I'm future. I'm not doing that. <laughs> you guys don't have to, but I want to. Isn't this guy a uh, character from God of War 1? Yeah, this is actually the uh, ship captain that I believe Kratos fed to the Hydra near the beginning of the game to accomplish some objectives. So I thought that was a really funny callback and how the captain is still really kind of scared of the guy. And you can kill him again and get stuff off of him again. Like, Kratos will just randomly jump sometimes. That's not me, that's the controller. Well, that's going to be fun, considering what we're going to face off later. Well, maybe it's just this boss. We don't know. Hopefully it is just this asshole. Oh, oh, he's getting another power. <laughs> Fucking really, dude. Like, is th th growing big has nothing to do with being a zombie. That's like a completely different Twilight imagination invention. Well, I mean, at least he gave you some health back, and I think some magic as well, so even though he's still trying to murderise us, he's actually helped us out quite a bit. Basically. Plus, because he's giant, he automatically must follow the rule of every giant boss and have attacks with tremendous wind-up time, so you can easily dodge them. I think I find this the easiest part of the fight, honestly, because he's such a big target. Another uh, strategy you want to use is keep dropping uh, Cronus' rage on him as well as any minions he summons just to keep him out of the way while you focus your damage on the main boss. Oh Jesus, he's running at me! I kind of like to fight in mid-range, you know, try and get the, the most out of the length of your friggin' uh, Blades of Athena over here. Probably a very good idea, I mean particularly because if you get hit there's a potential of getting flung into the one-hit kill swamp, so don't really want that to happen. Alright, I'm just waiting for the quick time events. This was a really bad time to jump. He's on the ropes. There we go. Fucking end it. Oh. Missed the thing again. I was not on my A game there. Ah. Uh, it's cool. I got the shit. You have indeed. Remember, mash, 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 mash the circle button. Well, first you have to mash, 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 mash the square button before you can mash, mash, mash the circle button. <laughs> I mean, that is true. Yeah, but... It's all the same thing in the end. There, I was ready for you this time, you mook. Oh yeah, fuck you, buddy. Hammer go smash smash. Ah, that feels good. I got to kill him twice in the course of Kratos' life. This time you did it on your own without anybody else, thus proving how much Kratos has matured as a character, I think? I don't know. Oh man, you, Kratos gets no character development whatsoever, come on. <laughs> Kratos is basically Angry McAngry, sir. The only character development he gets is like near God of War 3 where he finally just learns to accept that, yeah, I killed my family, I guess, and I should just learn to suck it up and live with that, and that's pretty much it. Basically, what do you think about the Barbarian Hammer Hell Dragon? You're the uh, other one who's played the game. Um, I'm really not a fan of it. Uh, first off, it looks like shit. I don't like uh, hammers that look like that. If it was a cool looking hammer, then okay. Secondly, the problem with for me with that is that it's too slow and the other abilities it has, the uh, shockwave ability, the ability to summon spirits, just don't really seem that good enough to me to justify using the weapon. Also, because it's slow, like, I'm not able to be as mobile as I usually like to be when I'm, uh, you know, playing these kind of games. So, honestly, I just 
never really used it at all. I much prefer to rely on the blades and Cronus's rage to do any kind of additional damage while I'm focusing on targets. Sorry, Pomba, I need this more than you. <laughs> what were these guys planning to do, really? Um, well, potentially they're, they're, they're trying to Venus and Adonis you. Huh? A little bit of a Shakespeare reference for you there, I, I will explain. So, back in the day, before Shakespeare was a really famous playwright, uh -huh. he w made, was very, very, very successful as a poet, or at least he wrote a poem called Venus and Adonis, and it was ridiculously successful because, I mean, it, it was about the goddess Venus and obviously Adonis being awesome, well, trying to be awesome and it was very sexual and all that jazz so it, it did well, it, it had the scandalous element about it. And basically what happens in that is that uh, Venus is all over Adonis, he's not really feeling it, he just wants to go hunting and be a manly man. But, <laughs> of course, of course. Yeah. So what happens is that after much torment and argument, he does go off and tries to hunt this boar down, and uh, it ends badly for him because it skewers him through the groin. Huh. And then uh, Venus finds him and is just obviously heartbroken, so what she does is she turns him into a purple flower and keeps the, the purple flower in her boobs for, I think, the rest of her life. Okay, her. I'm still missing the connection between that and the boars. Well, the boar was because the boar skewers Adonis through the groin. Okay. So uh, that, that, clearly they were trying to skewer Kratos through the groin to try and kill him. I got you. So that's where the reference was, and it, it's far too geeky for its own good. In summary, find more about a Shakespeare at your local library, kids. I like how you can do a spin attack with the hammer. That's pretty neat. Yeah, now that's your favorite weapon now, isn't it? Uh, no, I still like using uh, the good old blades. So, uh, who is this Uriel slash Urale person, mate? So, Uriale is one of the Gorgon sisters. She's actually the second eldest one of the Gorgons. Uh -huh. um, obviously, brass hands, sharp fangs, and hair of living venomous snakes. So, she and her sister Stheno were immortal, but Medusa, who is the most famous of the Gorgons, was actually mortal. Um, although, the, the odd thing that's mentioned here, and I don't know whether this is correct or not, but it's, got, it's referenced on Wikipedia, but in some versions of mythology, Uriah Lee also had the ability to turn anyone to stone with her gaze. So, potentially in other sources, but what I take from that is she doesn't have the ability to turn people to stone with her gaze, which confuses me, so it might just be Medusa who has that ability. But either way, she's one of the Gorgons, and she is in this game. Yay! Oh man, these these skelly wellies were made for this hammer. Skeleton warrior! Da -da 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 -da. Okay, we got that out of the way. I keep missing my chance to do the circle. Just die! Ah! Kratos is having way too much fun with this weapon. I should mention the controller kerfuffles extend to changing weapons as well, so have fun with that. You gotta kill him with your circle, man. Trying to, man. There we go. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, I wish we could replicate a thing that happened last time. There was a skeleton that got caught on the wall. You remember that? Oh, that was beautiful. Yeah, he was just kind of walking in there and just walking and walking and not really doing anything else. He was enjoying the ancient Greek architecture. Mm -hmm. Also, as you go through this doorway, which needs the uh, Uriah Lee's key, uh, there is an unmarked chest in the alcove to the right. So basically, as soon as you walk in, right on the right. There we go. I remember this from the last recording session. Yes. So that is a Gorgonite, so we only need one more. Hooray! You're Riley, I hardly knew her. <laughs> <laughs> right. Not your best, Hell Dragon. Well, in the land of the blind, the one eyed man is king. Okay, much better. Entom is pleased. Who's this guy, Hell Dragon? Oh, he's the guy who's given you a lot of trouble before. I think we all remember him. <sighs> well, to use his official title, he is. The Beast Rider! Da 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 da! I got my ass handed to me! <laughs> well, it's because these guys are absolutely horrendous! 
Fortunately, with each defeat, you grow stronger. Now, I do believe you can actually chain grab the uh, Beast Rider just over and over and over to quickly kill them. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Snuck in a corner. Don't want to be here. Now we can just take our time nice and slow if the controller will allow it. Ah! He doesn't want to take it slow. Well, it's because he's a Cyclops Berserker, so he's going berserk because he's a crazy man. No one's in control of him anymore. He should learn to calm it down a little bit. Well, it's true, but then again, the, the Beast Lord uh, makes him angrier, so uh, be thankful that the Beast Lord is now dead, because otherwise this guy would probably be beating your ass, as he did in the last take. Oh, yeah. He he beat my ass something fierce. That wasn't even funny. I should point out, you can bring down the Beast Rider at any time. You don't have to wait for a prompt or anything. Which, if you think about it, is kind of a mean thing to do. Like, it's helpful that they allow you to do that, but the game practically teaches you that you can only grab a big enemy when the circle prompt appears. Hmm, yeah, I can sort of see what you're going for, though. Also, quickly to point out, um, this is a Cyclops Eye. If you collect 20, you unlock a bonus outfit. Oh, so that's what that treasure is. Neat. Yeah, although you only get Cyclops eyes from Cyclops Berserkers. Okay. Also, if you kill these guys, well, quick enough, then you won't have to deal with any more Cyclops Berserkers today. I think that's going to be an impossibility, because I just heard one coming up the cliff. Oh, no. Just drop some lightning, do your chain grabs. Uh, caught in the middle with you. Caught in the middle with you. Here I am. It's just phase two right now, really. Get off there. Get over here! Yeah, exactly. Richie's getting into it. Yeah, that's the best part of uh, Kratos' chain weapons. You, get, you can always just do get over here, and it feels really good. Uh, get over here is probably like one of my favorite video game things ever. Just because it's so iconic. And I'm always looking for opportunities to kind of replicate it in video games. Now, there is a chest over there that can refill my magic, but I don't get it right now. Yeah, you definitely want to save that for when things aren't trying to kill you, which is usually a good policy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, he has a really obvious tell for when he's going to do a rare up attack. Let's just see how long it takes me to actually get caught in it. Not this time, fucker. There we go. Wow, he went down pretty quick. Yeah. I suppose this is what happens when you start to play with a little bit of skill. Yeah! Hashtag burn. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag humble burn. Hashtag you're fired. Okay. That only took two tries. Good stuff. Ah. Uh.